Hey guys, this is Callum from English Shooting and we're down here at the Bluefield Sports Range which means of course we have a gun to look at and it is the eagerly anticipated Calibre Innovations pistol. It's the CIP22. Well, it's called the CIP22 mainly because of legal reasons but we know it's a Glock. It is the first to market UK long barreled pistol Glock. We have waited and waited for there to be a long barreled pistol Glock on the UK market and well this one is for sale. It's actually for sale at Bluefield Sports if you're interested, they have them in stock. We've seen a couple of people uh, develop them but we've never seen one come to the market and Calibre Innovations have done it. It is a genuine Gen 3 frame from Glock. It even actually has Glock on the frame there, although that may get changed again due to legal reasons. We've got an Advantage Arms uh, slide on top and then obviously a custom bar and 12 inch barrel making it UK legal. But as I said, it is a genuine Glock frame. This is the closest thing on a Section 1 license that you're going to get to, uh, to a Glock within the UK and I'm incredibly excited to see it. So I think it's about time we stop talking and start shooting it. We actually have uh, Bluefield Sports sponsored shooter and servant Alex Florence with us today. He's behind the camera uh, currently. He is also the NRA Handgun League standard champion. So he knows a few things about long barrel pistols and shooting pistols here in the UK. So again, enough talking. Uh, let's put some rounds downrange. Hi guys, so anyone who's seen me shoot over the past year or so will know that I use a Wolf PPQ at the moment. Uh, that's also a striker fired design, so I'm really interested to see how this works. We've also got a PPQ here as a comparison. So this is just a standard 10 round magazine, just using CCI Minimax. First sort of real bit of shooting I've had with this. Um, I've shot 9mm Glocks before overseas, uh, but it feels very similar. The trigger is very similar, definitely. Um, this is the first group, about 10 or so metres, nothing too extravagant. Uh, I know I had one that I pulled the shot on, but otherwise that's 13, 14 rounds, all in inch and a half, two inches on a mini Ipsic. So what are your first impressions of the of the gun? Um, it feels like a Glock. <laughs> I, think that, I think that's about it. Um, I mean, it's good. I reckon it'll be good for people that shoot overseas. Um, like with the UK PSA bringing out pistols in Northern Ireland now, uh, one of them uh, for for use is you know, is a Glock. So it'd be nice for people to train, you know, be able to cross train. So th a, a thumbs up for the CIP22. Definitely not a Glock. Uh, yeah, the um, not Glock. Um, yeah, it, it's yeah, it's good if you yeah you know, if you know what you you know if you know what you're getting into with a Glock. It's a duty pistol at the end of the day. It's not really designed for competition. So as previously mentioned, I shoot currently shoot a PPQ, one of these. Um, I just want to do a quick comparison, seeing as they are both you know striker fired pistols, so they're around yeah you know, sort of work the same way. They've both got one of these funky little trigger safeties. Uh, yeah, just put it on paper, see how it compares. So we have the, the Glock and we have the PPQ. As Alex said though, the Glock was a lot slower. Um, you, you did shoot that quite fast, mm. but it, it shows that the Glock is certainly on par with the PPQ. One thing I will, well, a couple of things I will say: um, the trigger reset on a Glock is a lot shorter. Um, with the PPQ, you've got all that travel. There's quite a bit there. Um, 
Glock's not as bad, and also it does sit a little bit lower in the hand. What the Glock does? Yeah, it's got a much lower sight uh, bore axis, which is very nice. And what about the overall grip and feel of the pistol? Um, the grip angle on the Glock is a little bit more, well, sort of like sharper. Yeah. Um, I don't actually, yeah, I, I find like with this it sits quite naturally. With the Glock I'm sort of like almost pushing it down to get a good sight picture. But, um, yeah, I mean, they both seem to be pretty decent. The group is actually better with the Glock, but I was shooting a bit qu uh, quicker with the Wolfer, probably because you know, that's what I'm used to. Well, but. perhaps this one, um, so before we started filming, you did put 10 rounds on here. So that, that is probably a better comparison, because that was done a, a yeah, little... Yeah, that was probably done about the same speed. Yeah. Just sort of getting a feel for the gun. So we have the Glock done sort of at a reasonable pace, uh, sort of same similar pace to the PPQ. You can see that they're, they're very similar. When you take it slow with the Glock, that's what you can get, apart from when Alex pulls the trigger right there. Yeah. But you can see, they're they're very, very similar. Accuracy is on point, in the A zone. Uh, that's, that's what you want, isn't it? So it seems initial impressions of the CIP22 are very good. Again, Alex is gonna know his stuff when it comes to standard division guns. You're gonna to wanna to know as well how it functions with different ammunition. So we've been running it so far with CCI Mini Mag. We have seen a few light strikes on it, but it is a brand new out of the box just from proof uh, gun. So uh, over the course of the next couple of days, we're gonna put um, a number of rounds through it and then there will be a full first look video with Connors over on Gunroom TV. He'll be able to talk a lot more about the reliability of the gun but for a short quick test we're going to put a range of different ammunition through it now. Whilst it does explicitly say to only use high velocity ammunition we got on fine with it with CCI standard it seemed to run really really well. Golden Bullet was okay Ely, we were getting lots of light strikes, but then that is a, a target rifle round and again, not high velocity. And it seemed to absolutely hate the Magtech. It just would not feed in there multiple issues. So wouldn't recommend getting Magtech to it. But I think CCI Mini Mag, CCI Standard is going to do very well in this gun. I would always advise going to Mini Mag. The main thing you're going to want to know about this gun is, of course, the price. These are going to retail at £1,500. Now, whilst that is now at the expensive end of long barrel pistols within the UK, there was a time where 1500 quid was pretty much the standard price, but with the GSG Mark II and the Walther PPQ both being under £1,000, the Walther is about seven eight hundred pounds with the gsg being around the four five hundred pounds mark well the reason they're so much cheaper is that they come directly from the factory they are made by gsg they're made by walther and then shipped in caliber innovations had to go and buy all the different component parts at their full retail price and then get them over to the uk of again having custom parts made like the rod and the barrel if you go and buy uh, a bmw in the showroom well that's a standard showroom price if you go and buy all of the individual parts from bmw and then assemble it yourself you're going to pay a lot more and that's just the simple truth with the CIP 2 1500 quid if you want a gun to go and train with uh, that's going to make you proficient with a 9mm Glock when you go abroad well this obviously can't be beaten it is the only offering so that is the biggest advantage I would say over the Walther PPQ you're always going to get a Glock no matter where you go in the world you're going to find a Glock the Walther PPQ can be a little harder to get hold of although we seem to have pretty good luck locating one when we go abroad of course it doesn't necessarily look the most sexy gun I, I certainly think with a, a carbon fiber shroud uh, like the Walther PPQ that Maglo does it's going to look a lot better but if you're going to be using it for competition it's not necessarily how it looks it how how it functions and so far it's very promising another thing to mention is that in the box you get two magazines you get a 15 round and a 10 round magazine i really prefer these to the walther ppq uh, magazines the ppq magazines are very thin and it's always been my complaint of them and, and it actually hurts to load them because they're quite vicious on the thumb. These are actually a lot more comfortable to uh, to load and also load into the gun. I 
found it was a lot quicker just um, sort of doing uh, dry fire drills back at the gun room that loading this Glock was uh, a lot easier. And for people that want to take it to the max, there is a 25 round magazine as well. Absolutely insane. So great for having fun down the range and any competitions that you're going to be able to enter with these. Unfortunately, not any UK PSA competitions, uh, but you're going to still have a lot of fun and I would recommend picking one of them up. So it has to be a thumbs up overall. I think there are definitely improvements that can be made in terms of the, the overall finish and look of the gun and I will be very interested to see the long-term reliability of it. The PPQ as far as I'm concerned has been absolutely flawless so the Glock does have a bit to live up to. Certainly a great addition to the UK market. Thank you very much to Alex for coming down who's behind the camera yet again for shooting this and giving it the once over. Thank you to everybody else for tuning in and watching this video. I've hoped you've enjoyed it and found it useful and as always guys I hope to see you soon.